Hey friends, welcome to Scribble Lab. Today we're going to learn how to draw this chipmunk. I am using my iPad Pro and Adobe Draw to create this video, but if you just have paper and pencil at home, that's great. If you have a marker, that's even better because we're going to erase all of our pencil work and do our finishing lines with a marker or some kind of ink. Before we get started, let's take a look at the basic shapes of this chipmunk. She's basically a big oval. There's another oval there, another oval at her arm. Her feet are just elongated ovals. Her tail is an elongated oval. Her ears are ovals. Her face is a little bit trickier. There is a rounded square right about there. It's almost like oval on one half and square on the other side. And then her nose comes down in kind of a U shape like that. Her arms are ovals. There's one there and there's one underneath there. And then her hand is just a series of ovals. Her eye is an almond shape. So I'm going to push her up in the corner so we can use her as a reference, but she's out of the way. And we're going to start with our sketching lines. So if you're using pencil, be sure to draw very, very lightly so that you don't damage your paper and so you can erase easily. Now these sketch lines are going to be quick and loose, okay? We're going to start with an oval. Just don't worry about perfection here because you can adjust as you go if you don't like the shapes. Now let's get that head shape, which is round at the back, a little bit rounded square at the front. We'll do a sideways U for her nose. Throw in some oval ears right here. It's tilted to the left a little bit. And the one in the back is going to go right about here. It's a little bit smaller because it's farther away. Let's throw in the oval for her thigh here. Kind of overlaps like that. And her foot here, and then her back foot is going to be a little bit higher and a little bit smaller right there. Her tail is long and thin like that. Let's get her shoulder and elbow in. And that is an oval that goes kind of that direction. Then her forearm is another oval right there. And her fingers are just a series of ovals right about there. I'm going to throw in the shape of the acorn, which is just another oval and a U shape underneath with an upside down U at the top. I'm going to draw her back arm kind of like that so it overlaps. Now I don't want to forget her chest hair, so I'm going to go ahead and draw that in really quick. It starts at her chin and comes down a little raggedy there. Let's put her eye in right about here. Okay, so we've got our basic lines drawn in. That was quick and easy, and it looks really messy, but we're going to put our final lines in and it's going to clean it all up. So if you're using a pencil, be sure to erase your lines until they're very light. They're just guidelines. We don't want them there forever. Now get your marker out or whatever you're using to create your final lines. And let's start with her ear. Now watch carefully before you ink this ear because it's a little bit tricky. I like to start at the top of the head here, go all the way around until I get about to that point. Now I start back up at the very top of the ear, curve to the right, and then curve to the left and end about there. Now the last thing is I add some zigzags to indicate fur. The back ear is much easier. It just looks like this and stops at the top of the head. Now I'm going to start with the back of the head and I'm going to draw all the way down to this point. With one smooth stroke all the way down to the leg. Now let's do the face shape. 
we're going to start at this big ear, cross under the smaller back ear, come down and around a little jawline right there. Her eye this is a nice almond shape. And what I like to do is draw a small curve right here and a circle and another circle and fill in the rest of this part of the eye. The upper arm tends to sag a little bit on chipmunks and squirrels. The forearm comes like this. And I am just drawing around the outside lines of my ovals here. I'm going to stop right there. You don't want to continue the line all the way around because that would make it look disjointed from her body. So I'll leave it just like that. Let's get the other foot in. Now again, you're not gonna draw this entire circle. In fact, I can erase part of this so you can see about where I'm going to draw. Round it off, bring it down to her foot. Bring your foot around and connect up with there. Now her back foot is just going to be this sideways U. If you want to draw little toes in, now would be a good time. I'm going to draw underneath her chin and stop at her arm. Then I start again underneath her arm all the way down to her knee area. And then I want to get those little white scruffies in. So I'm going to do the same thing there. Only down under the arm, I'm going to make some zigzags. Now before we draw the back arm, we want to draw the acorn in because the acorn is in front of the back arm. Here's the top of the acorn. Acorns have little ridges on the top like that. I use curved lines to make it look a little rounded. Got the upside down U on top. And the nice U shape on the bottom that meets up with the hand. Now the back arm is as simple as can be because we just take this line and continue it to the acorn, just like that. All right, let's work on the tail. You can keep the tail a round oval, just like it's drawn in the sketch, or you can give it a little bit of zigzag to it to make it look a little hairy. Right about like that. Now is a perfect time to erase all of your pencil lines. If you need to pause the video to erase, that's fine, but I'm going to continue on. All we're missing are the chipmunk markings on her back and her tail. I like to draw along the curve of her back like this, then make a little M shape right about there. Then I start back at the bottom and connect the corners, but pull my line out just a little bit like that. I fill that in with black. The next line does the same thing, except I leave this one white. And then I put a third line in. And fill that with black. Now the tail is similar, only it's a straight line. So it's four lines all connected at the corners and you fill in the top space with black and you fill in the bottom space with black and leave the middle white. And that's what gives this chipmunk her signature look. Now it's up to you if you want to give her a little mouth or a nose. And there you have it. You have finished your chipmunk drawing. Now all you need to do is color it. I'm going to fill mine in really quickly. I like to make this back ear a little darker and her back arm a little darker and her back leg a little darker. Give her a little peach ear. Fill in that fuzz and her nose with a little darker color. I need to choose a color for the acorn. That looks like a good brown. Make the top part a little darker. Sometimes I 
add highlights or shadows in. For example, if there's a crease in her leg, like this, I'll add a little shadow here to show some overlap under her arm, under her chin, on her tail. All done. I hope you enjoy drawing this little chipmunk. I think she's pretty cute. I'm sure that you did a great job. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.